Slack is a go-to app for team chats. It's where so many of us communicate with our teams. But did you know that you can also use it to collaborate and manage your work? Slack lists were rolled out earlier this year, allowing you to manage, track, and create your projects and tasks directly in app. So no need to juggle multiple apps. This is a great feature because it keeps communication and task management in the one place. Hi there, I'm Alex Knowles from automationhelpers.com and we help companies like yours get automated with portals, apps, and integrations. Slack lists is a Slack feature that allows you to create, manage, and track your projects and tasks directly in Slack, which is great because it avoids the need to have multiple apps. It's a great feature for teams that want to have their communication and their work management in the one place. Plus, allowing quick task creation, tracking, and linking within conversations, which means discussions can instantly turn into actionable steps or reference tasks for easy collaboration. This is super helpful because so many of us use Slack to communicate with our teams directly, collaborate with communities, and build partnerships. Having a one centralized place for communication and project management could be a great asset for some teams, definitely individuals. So let's look at what Slack lists can do, how to set them up, and get some tips on how you can best use it to keep your work and tasks organized and managed without ever leaving Slack. To access Slack lists, you'll need to be on a paid plan. If you are, it should be visible from the left panel here. However, if you can't see it, just select more and you should see the option. You'll want to create a new list and then can select from the templates. Here are the featured templates. Now, Slack offers a bunch of list templates for different use cases, but let's simply start off with the basic project tracker. So I'll select that and hit use template. We can see the foundation of our Slack list here with the option of either a table view or Kanban view beneath layout. Then we're able to group by field and we can save this as a new view and give it a name. Then we can access all of our views here at any time by selecting the drop down. This template has created the following views with filter and sorting changes to help you get a better visual of your tasks on the go. So let's go back to the table view and look at the fields we have available. Slack lists, in my opinion, is a simple tool as far as project management goes, but this means less complexity, easier understanding for your team, which is great for small teams and definitely for freelancers and individuals. But let's push Slack lists functionality to see its limits. We have the fields or properties here that we can easily edit by selecting the drop down menu, then selecting edit field. We also have some example items, tasks or records. Let's create a new item and assign it to a team member. At first, your new list is private, but you can easily share it with others so they can see or edit it too. Up here in the top right corner, you'll see share and then just copy the link or you can share this list as a form for your team or clients to fill out, but we'll cover that later in the video. We can add a new item by selecting the big purple button in the bottom right corner there or directly in our list view. We'll create a project proposal task and assign it to a teammate setting the other fields high priority prepare and deliver we'll set the due date for a week's time and let's look at creating other fields but we should also quickly note the message field which allows us to directly connect and link conversations in slack to our items we're also able to instantly create a new item in a list from a conversation which we'll cover soon but let's take a look at the fields we can create. To be able to create a new field by selecting the icon here, giving it a name. Now for a project proposal, we probably want to upload or link the actual document of the proposal. So we can search for, we got files here, create. And then we've also got some other interesting field types, specifically the vote field, which relays to Slack polls and canvas. But let's take a look at filters and sorting enabling you to create the right view for you or your team. So if you select up here where we're able to change the view from table to board, we're also allowed to enable filters. So we only want to see tasks that are currently in progress or completed. Then we can also set the sorting. Perhaps we want to view 
our tasks in ascending order by due date. Simple, all the usual bells and whistles that you get in a project management tool. Now, I should mention that the Slack list window actually differs from the Slack window. If you want to get out of this and jump back into your channels or chat with your team, just have to exit it. Simple. And that'll take you back. Here we can view all of our lists. And if you ever want a list to appear on the left side panel, all you need to do is star it or favor it, and then it will appear there. So we've covered the main components of Slack lists, except threads. Hovering over an item, we're able to comment directly on a task. Mention team members and both collaborate and communicate without losing our discussion. Similar to the common function in other project management tools. But the real difference is when we jump into Slack and look at how we can connect conversations with our lists or our project trackers, our client trackers, whatever. Now, if I close this and navigate back to Slack, we can view our lists here. And as we said, if you want any to appear, just favorite it. But let's jump into a conversation. Here, a teammate mentioned an onboarding kickoff project. Whenever these conversations come up in your DMs or on team channels or in partnership community channels, you can directly add them as an item to a list by hovering over here and selecting this icon, add to list. Then select your list or create a new one. Project tracker I'll select. And we can see that the item has been created with the message linked which I mentioned earlier, we can then edit the fields and values and create new fields if we wish. If we jump into the project tracker, we can see it exists. Now you're familiar with setting up Slack lists, let's look at the best practical ways we can use it. You could follow the route of creating a separate list for each individual client. Then track all tasks and work for that client in that specific list. Or you could create a master tracker and then use the filter function to filter your work by client. Depends on how chaotic your list would be getting. Another great practice would be to create a client list to look after your client details. Let's see if we've got a template here. We'll jump in to see all quarterly feedback contact tracker. Perfect. We'll use that. This would be a great way for you to quickly access details of your clients and share with your team. Another possible list you could create would be a feedback list. Let's look at creating a form that we can then share with our clients and track their feedback through Slack. So we'll just jump and close this to select feedback tracker, use this template. Now it's already got some pretty good dummy items in here. We've got button is confusing, colors are too similar, love the new update. So this looks like it could either be a design or website project. The button says confirm and cancel. Basically, rather than having a conversation with our clients, with our colleagues, with our partners, we can create a form that enables them to quickly provide requests, questions, or feedback that directly feeds into your list. Up in the top where we notice share, we also have forms. So let's select forms and create or set up a form. We've got a form that collects responses and we've got a form that alerts a channel when a form response is collected. I'd like to go for the second. Now we can also set up automations in Slack lists and in Slack using the workflow builder, but we'll look at that later in the video. Let's select form with an alert. Then we'll want to select the channel that we alert when the form has been submitted. So I'm just gonna go with sales for this and publish workflow. Sweet, our form is now live. We can opt to share it, open the workflow builder to see that automation we set up, which we will in a moment, or just copy the link. Let's go share form. And we're able to directly share in messages with our clients, colleagues, teammates, whomever, or we can bookmark to a channel so it's readily available for our team. Now let's take a look at setting up automations for your Slack lists. Again, you will need to be on a paid plan in order to access automations and the workflow builder. It'll be on the left, just above where lists lay, and we'll see here we've got workflows and templates. Templates are great because they give you an automated workflow to begin with. All you need to do is plug in your apps or your data. So let's select templates and see our options. We've got scheduled message, Google Sheets feedback log, report, and more. Have a look through the options and select what works for you. I'm just going to go with scheduled message to begin. 
let's select and set up. So basically, every Monday at 9am, we want to send a message to a channel that requests updates. But I want my automation to directly involve or connect and link with my lists or the items on my lists. So I'm just going to close this and we're going to create a new workflow from scratch. In every automated workflow, we have a trigger event. What is the catalyst? What causes? What launches this workflow to be automated? Well, for this example, we're going to select that when a list item is updated, a scheduled message is sent. So we'll select when a list item is updated. We'll need to select our list, which will select the master tracker. Then we want to select the field that changes. What field, what is the trigger event here? For us, it's going to be when a status, when an item has changed to done. We want to send a scheduled message to update our team members that one of our project tasks has been completed. We'll select continue. So we've got the master tracker, the trigger event, when that status is done. So then let's set up the scheduled message. We'll notice all the automated steps we have on the right-hand side, but we're just quickly going to go through this. We'll go messages and we'll select send a message to a person, search for people, We'll just select the item assignee, so the person that completed it. Let's update them and just give them a congratulations for completing. Then we're able to pull in data directly from our item. So we'll just pull in the item name itself, the task, and we can also include buttons that will enable the receiver. And we're just going to hit save. And ta-da, we've set up a workflow automated. You can take this further and connect Slack lists to your favorite apps. Perhaps you want to send a meeting invite when a client has hit onboarding in your Slack list, or maybe you're controlling your documents and invoices through a Slack list. Well, you could connect to deal and directly add a new contract or ask for time off. There's a lot that you can do with Slack lists. However, I will say that it is a simple project management tool. It's definitely best for smaller teams and individuals who don't need the complexity of a robust work management system. Yes, Slack is a simpler project management tool, but that doesn't mean it's not effective. It's great for teams that want to bring their communication, collaboration, and project management into one centralized place and also set up automated workflows and connect conversations directly with their tasks and projects. It's a great tool designed for small teams and individuals that want a lightweight project management tool. And bonus, having this will mean you save costs on subscriptions because you don't need multiple tools. If you need help setting up a work management system or automating parts of your business, don't hesitate to reach out to us at automationhelpers.com. Our team of experts are offering a free 30-minute consultation, so book yours today.